in the period from 2007 to 2020, those 13 years, the number of young people who went into debt to go to school went from 28 million to 43 million, a spectacular increase in a short number of years. The total indebtedness over the same period went from $600 billion to $1.6 trillion. We are bankrupting an entire generation. And the irony is public higher education, which is where most people get their college education in a public school, private schools only educate a minority of our people. The whole idea after World War II to build up the state university systems, the community college systems, the state college systems, and all the rest was to provide to our working class what it had been denied in earlier American history, a college education. It was seen as a way to rise up out of the working class, to have a better life, a better job, a better income, more to provide for your children. And it was to be paid for by a fair system of taxes. Well, the reverse has happened. The rich didn't want to pay the taxes to fund public education any more than they want to pay the taxes to fund Medicare, Social Security, or any of the other public services that the working class in this country has won, usually through bitter struggle. So what do we have in place? an absurd system. Here's how it works. You can't take away higher education from the working class once you've given it to them. That would provoke an uprising of students this system could not cope with. So you let them have it, but you don't pay for it. And here's how you work it. You let the colleges raise their prices because you don't fund them with taxes, so they raise their prices for the students. And then you say to the student generation, you want a college education? You're gonna have to pay for it. You haven't got the money? We'll lend it to you. And here we go. The government then borrows from the rich, because they won't tax them. Borrows from the rich, takes their money around and lends it to the students. It charges the students the interest which the government then uses to pay the rich for the money lent by the rich because the government didn't tax them. The students of this country are victims of a system that doesn't want to pay for the education that had been promised to them. This is an irrational behavior of capitalism because the young people that go to college, willing to spend their time and their energy to learn, are what the future of this economic system can look forward to. You're nickel and diming that. You're giving an incentive to young people not to go to college because they don't want the burden of that debt. You are undermining your own future. And why? To support the tiny rich at the top who don't want to pay their taxes. We will rue the day we made these choices.